Hello and welcome to a tutorial on TrueNow.com. My name is Chaitanya and today we're going to talk about how to import Excel and convert it into a database form. We're also going to cover some features that are part of the initial offering by default. Let's begin. As you can see here, there is a list of forms on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have a history of reports that will be taught in a different tutorial. Now, first we'll start by creating a new form. So as you can see here, there is a button here and we click the button. Once you come here, there are a set of rules that must be met in order to upload the file. It can only be an XLS, an XLSX, a CSV, or an ODS file extension. The only first sheet will be imported and the first row should contain only column headers that have valid name. The file must also have at least one data row otherwise the file will not be able to upload. So for demo purposes we will be using an xlsx file and uploading it onto the website. And we'll give it the name sales validate form And there you go. All the screens that you see here have the entries that you have from your previous XLSX file or any other file that you may have uploaded. Now, as you can see on the upper left corner, there is a global filter that can be used to filter out anything that you might need. So if I type in truck and you will get items related to truck. And as you can see, there are 11 entries out of uh, 100 entries that have the name truck in it. So if you don't know which information is in which column, you can simply go to the global filter and find it out. Now, along with the global filter, there is a separate column filter that you can use. So let me type in a three for column fit for order ID and you find threes that are in each entry on that column. Let me go to order date and type in a 10. We'll find entries that are related to 10. We'll make order priority low and now you get two entries for order priority. So you can really narrow down what you're looking for in using this filter. So now if you want to change those entries, you can simply select them or you can go up and select the select all button. And there's an option there that says edit. And you can click there in order to edit both the entries. So once I've clicked it, you'll get the information that is on all the columns, not just the ones that are shown. So if you want to edit them, you can change them like order priority to high, order quantity to six, or keep it at six, whatever you would like. And, and since you have selected two entries, you can go back and forth between them using the player button that is on the top over there, as I'm doing right now. So you can skip multiple records whenever you see fit and compare them with whatever data that you have currently on that spreadsheet or database. Now, as you can see, there is an add new button here that says click here to add new record. So you can add new record whenever you like and you can fill it out. So let's put it an a sample entry also by typing in one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and then we'll put the date as July 11th, order priority low, order quantity 10. So if you want to add a new another record, we can just click the add new button again and make a new one. So one, two, three, four, five, order date being same date, July 11th, and order priority being low, order quantity 20. So as you can see, you can add 
whatever information that you would want to save on the database form. So we can click listings and you can save it. And if you want to look it up, you can simply just delete all the filters that we have currently have and then go to the last page and and look at them or you can simply go to the general filter and type in one two three and you can find the order id that has the one two three one one two three four five that we have already put in that's it for now we will be having more tutorials later on so please stay tuned and thank you for watching have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click the button now.